Get out of the way! meant for the Roman general for pay in an effort to sway Rome to Cleopatra's side. Oh. She will be grateful to you for keeping the communication secret. She's at my estate. We're headed there now. Oh. How does Aya fit into all this? Her cousin Phanos informed me that she was a driven woman stalking deadly prey. It so happened that I also had reason to bring down this prey. When Aya was successful, I stepped in to protect her. We are grateful. And we are grateful that you have eliminated Eudorus. He was an odious individual. I should tell you that in addition to Eudorus, I put an end to the Philaketai of Alexandria, Gennadios. Gennadios? I am very glad he is dead. But it will cause serious problems for you. The Felakis are a tightly bound group. And murderers. They will certainly come after you. So be it. Can I ask why you wanted Eudorus dead? As you know... We believe Eudorus was the force behind Ptolemy. ...responsible for so many of Egypt's current ills. up ahead. more at the villa. The queen enjoys the life of high society. I'm pleased that Aya is bringing some sober substance to Cleopatra's social circle. She is an extraordinary woman, your wife. I know. Bayek, before I can disclose all secrets, Cleopatra must meet and approve of you. She can be particular. Let me give you some advice. When you approach the queen, Bend your knee in deference. Speak only in reply. Yours is not to question, but to answer. Do not be distracted by the festivities. She has a large entourage, and they like to amuse themselves. Sometimes to excess. Speak clearly, in measured tones, and above all, do not meet her gaze. Ready? I cannot wait. Catch 
me. Catch me. Come here, both of you. Yes. She I'm caught me with her husband. The sensation is most delightful. This way. Oh, don't worry. She doesn't hold the crowd. Bees. <laughs> Where is my opium pipe? I will sleep with anyone as long as they agree to be executed in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> like Xanthivis. He was well satisfied with his bargain. Who is this toothsome fellow? In Mehoto Ek Nebshevet. My queen, this is... Uh... Well? It is a generous offer. But I have already pledged my life. To this woman. Aya, you have chosen well. Come, we have much to discuss. Celebrate, my friends. <laughs> you were meant to kneel. <laughs> ah, Pasharemta. Meet Aya and Bayek. They put an early end to Eudoros. Delightful. You are joining our efforts, then? We do not know what your efforts are. Eudorus was a member of the Order of Ancients. They are responsible for my exile. They tore me from my throne. And why should I care about them? Well, the snake has many heads. Those heads make up the Order. The snake is the man who killed my son. It is not so simple. What are they talking about? I don't know. They must know something. The Order of Ancients seeks to control all Egypt. Ptolemy is but their puppet. We have informants in each region. But they have been unable to touch the Order. Uh, across Egypt, mysterious forces work against us. For instance, here, in the Nile Delta, the endless sands swallow up whole villages. Yet, a malignant human force moves with them. That force is one of the Order of Ancients, called the Scarab. And over here, in most sacred Giza? A shadowy figure called the Hyena controls all that occurs. What is certain is that Giza is the land of death and loss. And then there's Memphis. All is cast in my land. Even the sacred Apis bull himself, the one called the Lizard, has worked a sort of diabolical power. So the snake is the Order of Ancients? Yes. Eudorus was known as the Hippo. You are right, my love. He was not the last one. All of these are. When the Order wants something, as in Siwa, it does not hesitate to crush all in its path. For Siwa, now Fayum, it is the most oppressed region in all of Egypt. Where the crocodile wields cruel power, the denizens live in constant fear. That is the fate that awaits all Egypt if we fail to stop the order. We need decisive action. It is time for assassinations. We still have not found the man who killed Remu. Our son shed will weep with joy when we clear the map of those figures. You are my Magi now. Protector of the true Pharaoh of Egypt. So it shall be. Tonight, we drink, celebrate, make love. Tomorrow,
<gasps> Where is that damn... You, Neb, are young, and your legs are strong. Perfect for my needs. A pigeon arrived not long ago. I sent Ruya to fetch it, but she is so unreliable. Probably batting her eyes at the Master of Arms. If I see her... Never mind her. I want my letter. Run up to the pigeon tower and fetch it. All news is important to us these days. All right, Stuart. I will see what I can do. The pigeons are in a ruckus. What has upset them? An ill omen. How did that charcoal get spilled? A lot of blood. Where's the body? I cannot leave you here. I will take you back to Peleus for the proper rites. Poor Ruya. If you had only known how to make such a leap. What did you get yourself into? Beasts with the faces of men prey on the weak and powerless. We cannot simply show our bellies to the jackals that plague our land. and death. By the gods! Ruya! What happened? She was thrown to her death from the Pigeon Tower. Your letter. Why was she killed? That is the badge worn by Dimnos, our Master of Arms. Why did she have it? I will find out soon enough. The poor... Poor girl. May you walk in the field of reeds. 
Dimnos. I'm looking for Ruya. Perhaps because she has your badge. Shit. Well, she was just an Egyptian dog. No matter. Why did you do it? Truth? I didn't mean to kill her. Only teach her a lesson for her insolence. She refused to read a letter for me. You must confess to Peleus. I suppose you want the same fate as Ruya. You stupid Egyptian. I'll teach you the same lesson she learned. Come! Try! Yes. He killed Ruia out of base cruelty. And he died because he thought I was also less than a person. What a senseless tragedy. She was a smart girl with a good heart. Push your racket, Auntie. You will just make the hippos excited. Or call the bandit. Neb, you look strong and carry yourself without fear. Can you help a poor farmer? Your friend was killed by a hippo. Yes. The beast rampage slaughtered many. Yesterday, we were attacked by bandits. In their wake, they disturbed these hippos and drove them into our fields. The gods seem content to peace on us. We cannot harvest the crops, nor can we put the dead to rest with the hippos in our fields. Let me help you collect the dead. We are a We cannot fail our mission! Not him. I would help you, but I, I, I... Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
this Maketra? Not this. This is my wife's brother, son. Last one, I think. Yep. Thank you, Neb. Their souls will now rest in peace. Who is this Meketra, your aunt mourns? Our protector. Brave and strong like you, he would chase away fierce animals or the bandits who plague us. I guess there is no one left who can keep us safe. Such a curse upon all of Egypt, it seems. Where do these bandits roost? There is a canyon. I would take you there, but it is far too dangerous. Also, so... And the cage are not among them. What will I do now? Yeah. <laughs> Get you out of there. 
Bless Harry. These bandits breed like rats. Thank you. But why did you save me? Your aunt spoke of your desperate straits. I would free any unjust captive, but the plight of a protector is something I cannot ignore. You are a Medjai. We are of the same brotherhood. Yes, I must hurry home. The war chief, Fat Homer, took the hungry great ones on a raid. You move like a lion. Would you help me stop them? Ketra, I think we are done. You fought like a lion yourself. I have learned much from you. You've made me a better protector. Egypt needs more people like you. The land needs more people like us. I will sing songs of our battle to my aunt to remember this day. Ha. Huh. I cannot believe it. The gods protected us. Amazing. The Ketra has been returned to us. Did you see him drive away the bandits? Run at them.
thing. Careful you don't overfill the jars. I seek the master brewer, Hakuf. I have no time. Speak to one of my overseers if you must. You misunderstand. I am a Magi. Apollodorus sent me. Apollodorus, of course. He sent me for the Scarab, the shadow that darkens size. Shh, please. That is an evil name to speak aloud. Apollodorus knows the people are suffering. In my position, Many confide in me. Trade is strangled, the soldiers run rampant, and the weight of Ptolemy's taxation crushes the breath from us. Come with me. Let us retire where we have a roof over Give me head. another portion of dates. Have you had Macedonian Where's dates? this delivery headed? I tasted some from Too the for the last time I was in Alexandria. Get them sealed up Best and on I the cart. Best I have ever had. <clears throat> Some awesome soup. There are many terrible stories about the Scarab. I am sure Apollodorus told you. Tales of mutilation, disappearances, and folk buried in the desert and left to die. A horrendous fate, trapped in the shimmering sand, your mind and body pounded by the remorseless sun, waiting for the final release into the Duat. These are only stories. There are real villains in size. But the Scarab, if he exists, it is not safe to speak of him. The investigations of Harkov's agents. The concerns of the people. Ah, size is no different than Siwa. must deal with Sefetu's archers in size. They are his eyes. The last man who asked questions about the Scarab was near beaten to death, with his tongue cut out. <clears throat> who was he? Old Gupa, father-in-law to the most powerful man in the region, Tahaka. That boy, Hawab, is his grandson. Tired of winning. I'm looking for your grandfather. Do you know where he went? No. He left on the road to Camp Piros. He should have been home by now. I'll see if I can find him along the road. Thank you. 